Hello friends, today I will explain about OFDM technology used in wireless communication systems. So OFDM stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing. It is a key broadband wireless technology used in Wi-Fi, WiMAX, 4G wireless cellular networks. High data rates in 4G, Wi-Fi, WiMAX are possible because of OFDM technology. So the need for OFDM is the thrust for high data rates in future wireless communication systems as well as present wireless communication systems. OFDM is combination of modulation and multiplexing techniques. So modulation is fundamental requirement of any communication system, whether communication system may be AM, FM. Wi-Fi, WiMAX, whatever may be the communication system. So modulation is the fundamental requirement. So multiplexing is used to transmit two or more data signals or single communication channel. Note that the term multi refers to more than one or we can also say two or more. So OFDM is a multi-carrier communication system. As you can see here, OFDM refers to multi-carrier communication or multi-carrier modulation technique here we try to understand what is multi-carrier communication system as we know carrier is used to carry input signal from one place to other place the carrier that we use in communication system carry a sinusoidal signal either sine wave or cosine wave is used as a carrier in single carrier communication systems we use one carrier such systems are am fm etc. In multi-carrier communication system, we use more than one carrier, that is two or more carriers we use to transmit the input data. So such multi-carrier communication techniques are used in four generation cellular systems, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, etc. So note that OFTM is a multi-carrier modulation technique and the carriers are spaced one over t here t is the bit duration that we use in communication process communication system this t is the duration of the bit the carriers used in OFDM are known as subcarriers so each subcarrier can be modulated by any kind of digital modulation technique such as ASK FSK, QAM, QPSK, etc. In OFDM, the channel is split into number of sub-channels. Suppose a given communication system has channel bandwidth of 10 MHz. This 10 MHz channel bandwidth is divided into n sub-carriers, n sub-channels. And uh, the important property here is these uh, all sub-channels, the n sub-channels are uh, orthogonal to each other. The key concept used in OFTM is the orthogonality of subcarriers. Here the subcarriers used are either sine waves or cosine waves. If two vectors are orthogonal, suppose vector A and vector B are orthogonal, if the dot product between the two vectors is zero, we can define this as mod A mod b multiplied with the cos of angle between a and b suppose as a real life example if two persons in the same room are talking in chinese and english in this case english and chinese are orthogonal languages because there is no relationship relationship between them and also we can easily separate interference caused at the receiver So also sin x and cos x are orthogonal to each other because orthogonal uh, and also note that orthogonal signals do not interfere. The dot product between sin x and cos x will be zero. The two uh, these two signals are orthogonal. Note that orthogonal signals are extensively used in communication industry 
the other community allows simultaneous transmission of lot of subcarriers without interference from each other suppose let us assume the communication channel has bandwidth of 10 megahertz this 10 megahertz bandwidth is subdivided into number of sub channels or number of sub bands we denote it as n so bandwidth of the each channel will be b by n which gives 10 kilohertz the bandwidth of the each sub channel is 10 kilohertz this smaller bands are called sub bands or sub channels a system with multiple sub bands and multiple sub carriers is termed as mcm multi carrier modulated system the basic principle of OFDM is split high data rate input streams into number of low data rate input streams so each low data rate stream is transmitted in different to sub channel OFDM uses large number of closely spaced to orthogonal sub carriers each carrier is modulated with a conventional modulation scheme such as QAM, QPSK etc here I will explain basic principle behind the OFDM suppose let us have n sub carriers and all the n sub carriers must be mutually orthogonal and we have a input bit stream with high bit rate of 10 mega bits per second and the value of sub carriers is 1000 we use 1000 sub carriers or 1000 sub channels so this high data rates bit stream is divided into low data rate bit streams using the formula like this so after dividing this high data rate bit stream into low data rate bit streams each sub channel carries 10 kilobits per second lower data bit rate here i try to explain OFTM concept in real life analogy consider two taps one is the faucet is equivalent to FDM technology and the shower tap which is equivalent to OFDM technology in, in a faucet all the water comes in one big stream and cannot be divided OFDM shower is made up of a lot of little low data streams suppose consider a shipment of water via truck we have two options one hide a big truck or use multiple smaller trucks suppose here single truck car carries all the water single truck is equivalent to wide band channel here all the data is transported using a single truck in OFDM we use multiple narrow band channels or multiple trucks to carry blocks of data this entire data is divided into n number of blocks and each block is transmitted in a separate truck the advantage of using OFDM is in case of accident only one fifth of data on the OFDM trucking will will be lost using single truck or single carrier is known as FDM technique using multiple trucks or multiple carriers to transport the data from one place to another place is known as OFDM suppose in above figure four smaller trucks represent four sub carriers in OFDM system these sub carriers must be orthogonal to each other as we have seen in case of FDM the data will be transported using entire bandwidth or entire bandwidth of the channel in OFTM multiple narrow band channels are used and each carries a part of the input data stream technically a single truck is equivalent to wide band channel multiple trucks are equivalent to narrow band channels single truck carries the entire load in case of multiple trucks the load is distributed among trucks OFDM applications include Wi-Fi which is wireless fidelity 
and also known as wireless local area network and also used in WiMAX worldwide interoperability for microwave access and 4G cellular communication systems called LTE long term evolution standard and digital audio broadcasting video broadcasting multimedia to handheld devices and used in PLC power line communications